Hello, I remain Kainton the Genius, and today we continue with Lane XML with C Sharp. And where are we in the stream of time? We are in tutorial 5. How to assess all elements with a specific criteria in an XML file. We've covered four tutorials, but if you've not gone through tutorial 1 to 4, I recommend you go back and go through them. But if not, you can still follow this tutorial. The tutorials uh, are actually linked and also independent, so you can actually follow along on this one perfectly, you will understand it. I just want to remind you to subscribe if you have not done so, just uh, click on the subscribe button down there. If you click on the subscribe button, uh, subscribe, as you be, yeah, um, I can't continue this writing. Alright, so click on the subscribe button so that when I make the next tutorial, you get notified. So just do that right now. Alright, hoping you've done that, let's put out this and then go to Start Visual Studio. So this is where we stopped. As you can see, this is 4. T today we are going to start with 5. If we run the previous one, we see that it displays all the books along with the along with the the author of the book so this time we want to assess all the books based on particular criteria all right so let's just start it five how to assess elements based on certain criteria all right public as usual we start a new function void read elements based on criteria you can actually give a name any other name you want but like oh what is happening public void okay that's a type of a all right so Let's see. Let's open the file to see what criteria we can actually use. All right. Let's say we want all books with genre computer. Wait. Let's see. All right. Okay. This is genre fantasy. All right. We want all fantasy books. We want all fantasy books. Okay. We want all fantasy books. So all books that has genre fantasy for now uh, all the books are displayed irrespective of what fantasy whatever uh, criteria is there so one all books that has a criteria fantasy all right so uh, basically we start off the same way by defining a new x element after which we load the XML file into the X elements. So books XML. I want everyone to follow this because and in a later tutorial it will become a little more difficult. But if you have followed all of this and do them by yourself, it is going to be easy for you all through. All right, so in next step, we define an I enumerable type of of x uh, x elements. Okay, equal to new. Sorry, I'll just give it a name. Books, yeah, books. Is equal to um x elements dot elements so we actually take all the elements inside this uh, x element this x element contains all the books so we define a, an enumerable type called books that will hold all the elements so more like we are trying to query a database in SQL we say select star or name first name last name from uh, uh, table one where 
first name equal to this. In this case, we are trying to select a book from books where genre equal to fantasy. So basically, link to XML is a very interesting uh, subject to work with. So let's see how we can actually do that. All right, so um, uh, okay, so now we are going to do something like this. Um, variable uh, okay um, book okay the book uh, equals sorry let's uh, say books equals remember we are now writing a uh, link query link stands for language integrated query from from let's call this B, uh, bk bk okay variable bk equal to from Oh, sorry. Um, okay, from book in X elements dot elements X elements dot elements elements uh, book okay All right I'll explain what is happening here to you in a minute of elements book All right so we are declaring a variable that holds the results of the query we are declaring a variable called BK let's call it actually BKS because it holds more than one result. So from book in x element dot element uh, book element book. Okay. So so at this time x element dot element book holds the 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 book. Let's open the XML file so it becomes clear. So x element dot element book holds uh, a complete details of book like this. So this is element book. Okay. All right. So we are now uh, selecting uh, certain things or certain uh, uh, notes. But we want to filter. Remember, we want to select based on criteria. Where BKS, um, oh, sorry, where book book dot elements good element uh, genre equal to fantasy. Okay, let's just see. Okay, so fantasy. Okay. Where book dot element genre. Remember, this represents book. This represents book dot element genre represents this. All right. Equal to fantasy. Equal to is a logical operator. So equal to fantasy so we now select uh, something so select select book okay 
All right. So I think we are making progress. Now book that element generate is an element. So the error is saying cannot apply cannot apply this operator to sys.xml.link.element and string. So this is string and this is element. So how do we solve it? Let's just cast this the string. Just put string. So we've cast we'll cast it to string so that it works. So it now could do the uh, comparison. So now this BKS contains all that we want. Alright, so maybe when we display it, it becomes clearer. Alright, so let's now write out the items. Uh, let's first display uh, console.write fantasy books. Okay, fantasy books. Okay, fantasy books. All right, so now we are going to uh, display all the items inside here yeah, in the result of our query. So just say for each book in okay, yeah, from book. Okay, this BKS contains elements. So for each ELE, um, for each ELE, sorry, for each X element in X element ELE uh, book. Okay, because this contains all the books. For each X element book in, in BKS, right? BKS. Yeah. So for each of them, we just console the right. What are we going to write? For each of the book, we just also write it. Now we are just going to write it where it is. All right. Console. That's right. Line. I think this one is a little more tough, but I think the principle is the same. I explained to you what's happening. BKS selects all the books for this criteria. Okay. For each uh, element in BKS for each of the books display display the book okay so I think it's pretty much simple so let's run it to see if it will search out the books oh then there is a problem okay let's let's go to uh, let's go here and call the right function I think the function is fn dot uh, get reads elements based on criteria okay so let's run it to see if we are fortunate wow so it displays two books mm -hmm. yeah fantasy books okay there are, there are a whole lot of fantasy books in there so the first one is bk102 general fantasy bk103 general fantasy bk104 fantasy and 105 generate fantasy okay so there are four fantasy books so this is how to display uh, elements based on certain uh, criteria uh, take your time to go through this function and make sure you understand exactly what is going on here i'd like to thank you for viewing but meanwhile remember click on the subscribe button so that when i make new videos you'll get notified